Good I grade 10s, 11s and also some grade 12s. So in today's lesson we are actually going to look at your PAT research and I'm going to help you choose the correct methods or maybe just give you a few tips when it comes to your research. So research obviously plays a very important role in any PAT. Uh, so this is where you find your information to help you solve the problem and to develop more skills in order to complete your task. So research should be done with the purpose of the solution in mind. This is so that you do not use information that is not relevant to the path or the scenario. There are many ways to do research and find information. And just here below follows a list of a few in very important um, sources. So the first one being Google which is one of the biggest sources. So if you have internet, you are probably going to start with Google. The second one there is YouTube. This is a personal favorite of mine. And then we also have books, textbooks, and magazines. So similar, um, uh, also similar businesses or operations uh, with regards to your pet. And then even Pinterest today is a very helpful resource. So I'm now going to look at each one of those and explain how you can use them. So when using Google, make sure that you use a language or terms that is best suited for Google to help you with your search and to ignore unnecessary adverts. If you are going to, for example, Google the word chalet, then you are going to find, <coughs> excuse me, a whole bunch of adverts um, for uh, travel agencies telling you where there are chalets to stay in for holiday. And that is not what you want. So if you change your wording or the terms and say best design for a small uh, ch chalet, then you will get different results. So try and ask Google for the best advice or ideas regarding to your topic. Now with YouTube. YouTube like I said, is one of my favorites and it has become an amazing source for research. The only problem is that all the info found on YouTube is in video format and thus makes it more difficult to post towards your path. In the next section, I will explain to you how you can make use of YouTube videos for any research products. Again, you have to make sure that you use the correct terms or wordings for your search uh, to find the best research um, and to be successful with that. So then also books, the old fashioned way to go and look at library books, engineering books, some magazines. These will contain some excellent pictures and illustrations. Textbooks are also very direct and precise and can be a great research source if you can find the correct books, obviously. And we've got also businesses and operations. So you might know someone which is in the engineering field and they can maybe help you with information and questions. So make sure that you, when you approach one of these professionals that you ask good questions to help you get the right information. These type of people might even take you to a building or engineering site or if they're into designing and uh, you can then obviously take pictures and collect information from such a site. Then we also have Pinterest. Now I don't know much about Pinterest, but I do know that this has become a massive library of great ideas shared by many professionals in the designing field. So this could be a great source to find pictures and ideas for your future design. So what to do with information found. So if you have the internet, you are probably going to start with Google. And if you find maybe a relevant paragraph or passage on a web page containing the information you need, do not copy and paste that information into your path. Okay, that will be stealing plagiarism. So you need to read that information then think about it and then share that information in your own words. 
it's like watching a movie tonight and the next morning telling your friends what the movie is about. It's exactly the same thing. And this is exactly the reason why I prefer YouTube more than the internet. So, um, so yeah, you share the information that you've learned and found. And also what you can do is give an opinion of the research you found. So if you do find any research on the internet, please make sure you copy the URL or the link of the website um, where you've gathered any information and paste it into your list of references. So for example, there is a website link that I've pasted. I think for the grade tens that will be helpful to look at that link over there. Then also with YouTube. So if you watch a video containing some research information, then take some notes down on a piece of paper and write this, what you see in the video in your own words and explain um, that information you've, uh, you've gathered. Also again, remember to copy the URL link to your list of references. So for example, there's a YouTube link and if you have to design a small kitchen in your, um, in your plan, then that is an example of a good YouTube video to watch. So there's a few hints. So what to do with the information found again with pictures and illustrations. There are plenty of great pictures and illustrations that you can find either in books and again um, Pinterest or even on websites. If you do use a picture of illustration and you add it to your pad, remember to copy the URL or the link to your list of references. Um, so then also, if it is from a book, then you have to list or name or list the name of the book, also the author that wrote the book. So do not just paste a picture into your pad. If you do paste the picture in your pad, I want you to explain what you can learn from the picture. What do we have to see in that information that you've shared? So that is a very important point there. So there are many other sources to use for research, but these are just a few mentioned to help you along the way. But once you've now collected and done all your research, should by the end of your research already be a list of references so as you go along with your research you start pasting those links into your list of references again make sure your list um, is in bullet form and then just a tip google and youtube so in other words google.com or youtube.com or millistrong.co.za those are not references you cannot use it um, because if I, for example, just click www.google.com, I will not find any information on any design. So when you use books, please mention the name of the book, which edition um, uh, the book is, and also the name of the author. Right, that brings us then to the end of our PowerPoint and with regards to your research, I hope you have a better understanding of how you can do research. So this is the end for now. In the next lesson, we'll start looking at the packed design. So have a lovely day and we chat again soon.